You're watching Alaska's weather source. Was it a flood or an avalanche? It was a bit of both at Alaska today because there was an avalanche on the higher elevations of the north face. You can kind of see that slab mark there where the uh, snow broke away, breaking trees and uh, wood along the way. Then it also overran some ponds that had been melting. All that water was displaced. It started running down the mountain and right into the Alaska Resort area. So that was from Mark DeRocchi. Thank you for sending that in. We got a couple of other uh, photos as well. The slab line and then some of that debris that uh, was caused when that snow rolled over those slopes. Tony Villasenor is sending those in. Here's a look at your temperatures across the Anchorage metro area into the 50s. But Muldoon, you're at 58 degrees this hour. Just last hour, you were at 60. We've seen some gusty winds, especially through the Aleutians. On Alaska, 58 mile per hour wind gust. Cold Bay made it to a 40 mile per hour wind gust. And temperatures and conditions into the interior uh, were windy but warmer. 31 mile per hour wind gust out of Delta Junction. The hot spot, Eagle, 67 degrees for them today. Buckland, you were the cold spot, but it was 15 degrees there. So you had two numbers to, to get in. Uh, across the state, those high temperatures, well, cooler across northwest Alaska in the northern tier of the state. You saw 30s and 20s for highs, but then when you get into southwest Alaska, we're picking up the 50s, carrying them into the interior, and then low 60s showing up in Fairbanks and Northway. Juneau also topping out at 60 degrees, 40s for the most part for Aleutian high temperatures in South Central. 50s starting to show up, but there's some 40s uh, scattered in there as well down towards Seward where they have seen some rain, but not the highest amounts of rain. That goes to the Portage area where for now the third day in a row, they've seen in excess of two inches of rain and it's coming up on two and a half here for the Portage area just today. So we'll be seeing some even warmer conditions as we get rid of this area of low pressure. It continues to spin in the Gulf of Alaska. It'll weaken and sag southward. So. Uh, but not before delivering another big dose of rain into panhandle locations where they could see through Saturday in excess of two inches of rain as well. We also have those flood watches as well as warnings. The watch into the Manly area as they're watching that uh, breakup front move downstream on the uh, Tananar River, rather. And then uh, we also have that warning around uh, Taylor Highway near Chicken. Here's a look at that forecast. Low pressure will spin again. There's that precipitation moving in, and that will provide that shot of uh, rain for us on Friday night into Saturday before we start to see some clearing, a bit of clearing. I'm not going to say total clearing, but some clearing uh, so that allows some sunshine. But that storm system moving across the Aleutians, it impacts that west coast as we head toward the second day of the weekend. Here's those rainfall totals expected into parts of the panhandle up to an inch of rain just through Friday night, but it goes in excess of that. It could get closer to three inches of rain on the southern end of the panhandle near Ketchikan. So here's a look at our forecast, southeast Alaska. You'll see wet weather into your Friday. It'll be warmer with some sunshine showing up into the interior, a few isolated showers, 60s for highs, not quite there yet. It's 20s, even 40s for the highs across west, uh, northern Alaska. Western portions of the state will see highs cooler across those coasts, but inland it does make it to 55 degrees. For the Aleutians, 40s for your highs and somewhat gusty winds at times for the Kenai Peninsula. We're looking at a better Friday coming our way with those showers confined mostly to the coast and into Prince William Sound as we get into Friday night. 61 for the high around uh, the valley areas. Anchorage coming in with 58 degrees. And here's our seven day forecast. We'll see those 50s stick around. Thank you, Mother Nature. And uh, Sunday, it's also Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day out there to those celebrating that.